the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you. God bless you, man. I had, we had a great study today. We're talking about the fact is that, and let me see if I can bring up the uh, the slide. But the main thing is this. We need to be able to encourage one another. We really need to make sure we don't be deceived to do and go to the contrary of the doctrine of Christ. There's so many things I'm looking at in the past, and the past discrimination, everything else. It's all because people said that it's more important to, to this, be deceived. It will be to be deceived, willingly not study the word of God, willingly not understand the doctrine of Christ, and start to go after the doctrine of men. Sometimes we talk about the different political parties. We would do, we'll go with the things of a political party where it's okay to hate, it's okay to discriminate, it's okay to do all the bad things. Because you think about it, some of these political parties start all the way from the Atlantic slave trade, start all the way from 1776, start all the way when this first country brought in slaves or brought in indigenous servants. And said those things that they do atrocities toward mankind. All the bringing division, all the bringing of strength. And then all of a sudden we went through the slave trade, the sex plantations, the, the atrocities, the, 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 the brutalization. It's just not acceptable and contrary to the doctrine of Christ. And I'm trying to sit there and say to you, let us do the things that make for peace. Let us do the things that are puts into the doctrine of God. So that's what the study is about today. The fact is, let's not be duped. Because so many people have been duped. So many people have been deceived. So many people have lied to and tricked to do things and ignore the teaching of Christ. I'm saying is, let's see what, and I'm just saying it right now. Go by what the Word says. Does the Word tell you to discriminate? Does the Word tell you to hate? Does the Word tell you to not forgive? Or does the Word tell you to forgive? Does the Word tell you to love? That's the doctrine and teaching of Christ. And if you are operating outside of that, and you feel that it's okay because you're approved by man, I'm telling you, it's not man that's going to get you in eternal life. It's not man's doctrine. It's not political parties, not the color of skin, but it's the love of God. Follow the doctrine, people. Study to show yourself approved unto God. Hey, have a great, happy Father's Day. Joy, Juneteenth, tomorrow, 19th. Juneteenth, 19th. Tomorrow, reflect on it. We've got a lot of bad things went behind those people getting to the point where they can celebrate freedom. And then that's appropriate to be able to have a day of celebrating the, 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 the long so that we can celebrate the right that we're all free. And yet, even though we had to make an amendment, we're all free so that on the 4th of July, we can all say Independence Day. Every man being independent to choose. And God gives you the right to choose. And that choice is life through Christ. Amen. God bless you. Appreciate you listening. And we'll see you when we see you. And don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And I'll break this down to like A, B, C, and D, as always, so that you enjoy. So enjoy the study. And I'll see you when I see you. God bless. Bye bye. But if you sit there and show on your, your disgust because of people's decisions or because of the condition they are in, just think about it, God discussed what discussed of you, and therefore you will not be able to be coming into the gospel. Amen? So forgive others. Forgive others, right? And forgive us of our deaths as we forgive our debt to us. And that also means, since we're talking about daily, ask God daily for the things that you know you did, or the things you thought you, 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 thought you did. Don't just in case you didn't recognize what you did. <laughs> Go ahead and ask for forgiveness, forgiveness, forgiveness of our debts, 
can then recognize it's the same way you expected to be forgiven. It's the same way you're supposed to give others. And he said, lead us not into temptation. Amen. Now, don't, don't leave me to things that will tempt me to be to fall. Leave me to things that tempt me to do well. But my test it should be a test that shows me where I'm at and where I need to go, how far I need to go in that. It is different between the temptation of the devil and then God testing you to do his will. You know, choice, making a choice, making a decision. Amen. <laughs> he said, and, 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 but deliver us from evil. Come on now. And, and, and my, my point is this, is don't be evil and think you're doing the gospel. And you know what I'm talking about. You know when you sit there and, and, and try to hurt people. When you sit there and, and try to do things that, that, dis, that, that, that discriminates against people, ostracize people, try to control people. You know it. You know it. You 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 know what I'm talking about. Just judge yourself. Just judge yourself. I know sometimes these, these type of teaching is not popular for you. Because we're gonna use the word of God and, and I'm just trying to tell you, do his will. For thine is the king. Once again, he is the king. His system. There's a world system, there's God's system. This denomination, they got different church ministries, and all of them got different systems. But if this system is not allowing the kingdom of God system, you know, the kingdom of God system, but God is king. And he has given us a system. If your subsystem, meaning if you are Baptist or Methodist or Catholic or, or any other denomination, if your system is contrary to his kingdom, his system, then that tells me that you are an antichrist. You are separate from him. And you are under the system of the devil of this world. You you make that decision. You, I, I'm just telling you. Either go God's kingdom, because it says thy kingdom, for thine is the kingdom. And look, some of us try to go for power of the world system. Opposed to the fact that the true power is God. He said, for thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory. If we're not giving God the glory, if we try to give ourselves the glory, if we try to give our flesh the glory, see what I'm saying, if we talk about nationalism and everything else, think about it. Listen to the word of God. I don't care about listening to me. Listen to the word of God. Preachers listen to the word of God and teach the word of God. Teach people the word of God. And if you know you got people that discriminate against other people, if you know you got people that kill other people, if you know you got people that hate other people, you know that. And you know that's not the kingdom of God. And yet you accept it, you endorse it. That means you're an antichrist. Because you're not doing God's will. I'm trying to tell you, everybody, listen, as we go through these slides, it is his will for all men to be saved. It is his will to love one another. And you're not teaching that, and you endorse a certain contrary to that, and you think you got it going on. I'm going to tell you something. You don't. And, and it is easy to go go go, go listen to somebody that is teaching contrary. And you 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 and some of you don't even read listen, some people don't even read the Bible, so they don't know this will. And want to rely on somebody else to give this will. I'm telling you, the will is right there. The will is in the word of God. And that's why we really use the word of God, right? And stop trying to that's what I'm saying. When you try to glorify your flesh, when you try to glorify yourself opposed to glorifying God, giving God thanks. You, your blessing that you have, you say, God, praise God. And then anytime you try to, to keep people being blessed, then you need to check this out. 14, very interesting. And 15. But if you forgive men, not, he said first, 
For if you give men their trespasses, your heavenly Father also forgive you. Meaning what? If you forgive people the trespasses, it means that you forgive people uh, of their choice of who they are, their choice to reject Christ, their choice to 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 uh, do things their way in a different way, or whatever they feel is their way. Even though if they choose not to come into the gospel, they choose not to be Christ in Christ, but be Antichrist. They let them be. That's their choice. You forgive them of that. Because it's not you that's this they reject anyway. You reject God. At least from our teaching. So you don't get offended with that. You just continue to just be you. Do you. <laughs> Do you. And work on your character. You know, the Bible says work out your own salvation. Work on that. Teach your children to work on that. Don't force it on people. Because all you do is running people away. That's all that's happening. So if, he said, for if you give in a trust, but then falls will give you. That's the bottom line. But yeah. So you can be together. Because you're not worthy to come into the gospel. You know, I on my own accord. So you just want to forgive others <laughs> as well, right? Because he said 15, but if you forgive men not their trespasses, neither will your father forgive your trespasses. That you, see where I'm coming from? Why would you choose to not be forgiven when forgiveness is, is available to you? All because of somebody else? That's what you choose to do? Come on now. He said, if in 1 Timothy 2, 4, you gotta understand, who will have all men to be saved and come to the knowledge of the truth? And the word is the truth, not your denomination, not your color of your skin. It's the word of God. And you want people to come to the knowledge of the truth. Stop trying to let people take you and deceive you going to the wrong path. It's the word of God that matters. You keep hearing the opinions of people and being mindful of the things of man instead of being mindful of the things of God. Be mindful of the things of God in the word of God. Because you got to remember in Romans 14, 12, he says, so then every one of us shall give an account of himself to God. You will individually. Your pastor won't show and advocate for you. Your mama won't advocate for you because she'll be advocating for herself. And really, if she's smart, and if you're smart, you have the advocate, which is Christ, who will tell the Father he's covered under blood. But if you are not under the blood because you chose not to do his will, you chose not to do his will, you chose to, to sit there and discriminate and hurt people and reject people and ostracize people. You chose to do the works of the flesh. You chose to do the tools of the devil. Now I'm talking about hurting people, killing people, jealousy of people, lying about people, bearing false witness of people. This, those, those are things I'm talking about. If you do those things, you choose those things, you will have to give an account to God for them. Opposed to saying is that I do those things and ask for forgiveness and forgive other people, <laughs> then I can at least be covered under the blood of Christ and have an advocate because I repent and have a decision to do that which is right. That's what he actually do in these scriptures right here. Please check those and read them for yourself. Amen? That's what I want to put them there for. Look at this right here. For those of those who, who, who've been told they can't come into the body of Christ, those who are told that they, 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 they can't uh, operate according to the will of God, right? They can't be received, right? You need to sit there and understand this scripture here. Romans 10, 9 and 10. If thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and this you can understand, that is very critical for you is to confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and shall believe in thy heart, not in your head, but in your heart, 
that God has raised from the dead, thou shalt be saved. Did, did you see the conditions he put in there, though? Who's Lord of you? Is Christ Lord of your life? Or your denomination Lord of your life? Or your parents is Lord of your life? Is the color of your skin Lord of your life? Who's Lord? If you confess your mouth the Lord Jesus, and that means his will, his direction, his path. He said, I'm the way, the truth, John 14, 6. I'm the way, the truth, and life. No one comes to the Father but by me. But if you go and try to come to the Father based on your flesh, based on whether you're black or white, based on the fact that you're Jew, based on the fact that you're Gentile, based on the fact of anything other than his will, you got to answer for it. And like I said, all the crowds and all the people that, that try to tell you to do contrary to this word, they all going to be going before the God that be going as well. The answer for the fact is that you didn't you didn't do my will. You didn't let me be Lord. You you wanted some you want somebody else to be Lord in your life. In some cases you just want to be Lord yourself. But that scripture is saying that if you confess your mouth to Lord Jesus, meaning he's Lord. I'm, I'm, I'm tired of you sitting there, people, trying to, to, to justify your behavior and still say that he's your Lord. Because the scripture said in 10, for with the heart, man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. It's the heart peace that makes a difference. And let him be Lord, because you confess he's Lord, makes the difference. If you're not following these conditions in your heart, not your head. A lot of people try to do it by the head. It's by the heart. Because look at this in Matthew 7, 21. Not everyone that says unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. But he that does it the will of my Father, which is in heaven. Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name? And that name cast out devil? And that name done many wonderful works? And verse 23, and then Jesus, Yeshua said, I will confess unto them. I never knew you. Depart from me, ye that work is iniquity. I never knew you. I didn't know you when you sat there and watched people get lynched. I didn't know you when you sat there and allowed people to be discriminated. I didn't know you when you discriminated people. I didn't know you when you didn't bear good fruit. Because the Bible says that a tree is known by his fruit. I don't know you. That's what he's trying to say. Is if you operate in the flesh, he said, I don't know you. And you can do anything, you can say anything, but it's what you do determines what he knows you because he wants you to perform. Hey, that's Chris. Hey, God bless you, man. How you doing? And happy Father's Day, too. I'm waiting for your audio to come up. But, it, but while you're coming up, I'm going to keep talking. Amen? <laughs> hey, bro. All right. Well, I'm going to keep talking. You hear me now? It says Chris is up. Hey, I'm trying to get in there, brother. Trying to get in. All right, brother. You just go ahead and just come on in and... Talk when you need to talk. I'm going to just keep on preaching this gospel, man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> Come on. Bring it to me. Amen. I, I'll let you know that the title today, everybody, this Brother Chris coming in today, is the title is talking about, and I know you agree with it. I know you <laughs> will agree with it. <laughs> this is another fascism right here. It says, the title is called Duke. To ignore the teaching of Christ. And you know dupe means, right? You've been tricked and you've been deceived, right? Dupe to ignore the teaching of Christ 
so you can judge and condemn others. That that that's the title. And uh, when I was on, well, because of people sit there and try to do things opposite of Christ, I was reading the last one before I go to the next slide is Matthew 7 21. Where it says, not everyone that says unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. But he that does the will of my Father, which is in heaven, meaning his will. Meaning, and I'm trying to say, in a lot of cases, we talk about, oh, man, he, 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 he went to club last night. Oh, man, he didn't go to church in, in many years. Oh, man, he, he didn't dress right. He didn't, that, that, ain't, that ain't the stuff he's talking about. Because you can repent on those things. You can work on those things. Because we can work on our sin. But the, the work we can't work on, or things we need not work on, is what we hurt others. The, the, the intent is to try to respect people. And accept even their decision. They decided they don't want to go to choose Christ. We don't get upset or offended. We sit there and still treat them with love. And, 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 and forgive them. He says, so it says right 21, not everyone that says to me, Lord, Lord, shall enter to the kingdom of heaven. But he that does the will of my Father, which is in heaven. Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in that name? Hey, Chris, you can put yours on mute while you're walking, because I can hear the wind and the... And the and, okay. And, yeah, you can put your on mute. You, you can keep it on mute till you're ready to say something. God bless you. <laughs> So, so once again, I read it says, not everyone that says unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven, but he that does the will of my Father, which is in heaven. The key to it is doing the will of the Father in heaven. Many will say to me in that day, and I'm talking about, and, and the people I'm really particularly talking about is, you know, when they did the, the church side to do the crusade, you know, when, when, when the church became uh, the, the, under the Romans, system inside of that they wanted to be uh they they they, they allow rome was trying to kill them and wipe them out at first couldn't wipe them out church kept growing so the, the romans said so let's incorporate them and then when they incorporate them they decided to make them fit their image and one of the images i noticed that the church started doing is being militaristic and teaching the christ had no christ had no army to go into to do a crusade Christ didn't have an army to sit there and hurt people and, and, and do bad things to people. That wasn't Christ's teaching. But all of a sudden, the, the ministry, the gospel, starting off with the Catholic Church, decided to be militaristic and do to do the crusade. Then you got the Spanish Inquisition. Then you got the Salem witch hunt. Then you got the, the Atlantic slave trade. <laughs> then you got slavery itself. Then you got issues dealing with uh, the Jim Crow laws, the, uh, discrimination, all those type of things where people sit there and hurt people, do bad things to people, and said, oh, I'm doing God's will. Christ is in there saying this here in verse 22. Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied that name, cast out devils in that name, and I named that wonderful works? But 23, Christ is sitting and said, I will profess unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me to work in equity. You to sit there, and, and, and I'm just saying, you to sit there, and yeah, I'm using the, the stuff that happened in the past, but this stuff happening today. They did the lynching, and you had whole towns of people where they, they, they sat there and watched somebody be mutilated and, 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 and burnt alive. And, 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 and did you say you knew Christ? And, and, and then you sit there and you preach some message and then that person goes out and hurts somebody and you said you preached Christ? You didn't preach the fact is that Christ said you don't supposed to hurt people. And this is what they try to do. They try to get the religious people try to get them focused on these other little areas of sin and said, well, that, that, that's, 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 that's what you need to focus on. You went, you didn't go to the club last night. You drank a beer last night. You drank wine last night. You drank liquor or anything else. And you say, oh, that's a bad thing. But your discrimination, your hate, your jealousy, and all that other stuff is not in the will of God. And yet you try to ignore that and say that that's justified. I'm trying to say that's not justified. And that's what Christ is saying is, 
I never knew you. So the next slide I'm going to, and he that doubteth is damned if he eat, because he eateth not of faith. For whatsoever is not of faith is sin. And that's, that's what we want to close up with. And that's what I want you to remember, is the fact is we don't judge and condemn one another. We love one another. We work with one another. Amen? All right. So thank you for listening. We'll probably cover those scriptures again uh, next week, if the Lord is willing. But the fact is, don't be duped. Don't be deceived. Trust in God. Love one another. Encourage one another so that we can all meet on high as all nations, all family, all tongues, all kinders. Let's not take the man construct because man construct, social construct, can send you to eternal death. And I fear that so many people, especially since the Crusades, all the way up to now, generation and generations, I'm afraid. Some of those people are not with the Father. The Bible says, absolute, absolute, absolute body is present with the Lord. That's only if you're in the Lord. And the Bible says, the tree is no best for you. Amen? Hey, we all got things to work on. But the main thing we can at least work on is not to condemn one another, but encourage one another. That's what I want to say. God bless you. I appreciate you listening. And I'll see you when I see you. Have a great holiday. Happy Father's Day. Happy June 19th. Enjoy it. Reflect on it. And rejoice in freedom. It's for everyone. God bless you. This is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you.